Terry, and we have been laughing and actually shooting each other with these therabands as we're trying to figure out what we're going to do today. But my parents decided to come over, and, uh, and this is the time frame that I had allocated to do this workout, so I asked my mom if she would do this, and she said yes, so <laughs> she's a trooper, but um, look at her go! the older version, the black version of, of our system. And uh, she's been doing this more at home, so I wanted her to come do it. But, all right, Mama, hold on. Okay. And I tell, let's see. I'm just blowing a second. Good job. Try backwards. And I'm trying. I'm gonna unhook you. Okay, okay. take your feet now. Okay. Okay. So, have your system, all right? And I just did this the other day, and sometimes I do this all the time, so it's really fast when I do it to show you up, uh, to show you the setup. So with my mom here, what I'm gonna do, take your heel, what I did before, right? And you want it to be straight. Now, you you didn't like it that straight, right? Yeah, a little bit. A little yeah. bit closer. Yeah, that feels better, just that. Okay, yeah. now then move your toe, and then do this side. Okay, and then pedal forward. Now, that's a little closer than I would normally tell you to do it. Let's fix your sock for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I pushed it a little bit further that way. Okay, what do you think? How's that? That feels better. Yeah, I think I had it myself. I think I put one. Okay, now try reverse. Do you notice anything, like, does that feel cognitively, like, that you have to think about it a little bit more to go in reverse? You're pretty good at reverse. So, but, but my mom is 69. I just accused her of being 70, and she corrected me not to jump up to 70 so fast. Not yet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, what is your mom, what do you do, like, to stay active? Um, I, um, walk a lot, as much as I can. Um, I walk my dog, and I live on a hill, so I get some hill action. Mm -hmm. uh, I go up the hill, and then I come down, and then I go back up and come down, so that I get both ways. And I, um, sit and I cycle with my exe, like when I'm on the phone with uh, my daughters and How about with work? So my mom still works. 69. Should I give you a high five on that or ask you what the hell is going on? <laughs> like bouncing around. <laughs> my, uh, so my mom's 69. Do you ever, you should do this when you're working. Um, the way my desk is set up, mm -hmm. and my vision, I have to sit at a, just to be able to see. Just, the, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, on my keyboard, yeah. Um, but uh, I have it in the, in, uh, by my chair, I mean, at my chair, mm -hmm. uh, in the living room, and, and when I go in there and sit, and I can talk on the phone with you guys, and, yeah. and, and sit there and do this, or just right while I'm talking on the phone, or watching the scenery, or the yeah. fireplace, or yeah. <laughs> listening to music. So, what, it rain, the rain season's coming up. I know you get your walks in. So I, I try not to lecture, because you're pretty good about doing things, right? But um, do you think you'll use your XC more in the winter? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah, I do. I think I, um, when it's um, raining too much, or, or obviously if it's snowing and icy outside, I'm not going to go out there mm -hmm. and walk but, in And that. I'll be honest, like my mom, if you go on a hike with my mom, she's like full bore, Hard to keep up with, actually. And um, <coughs> not on that rattlesnake. Well, no, I no. didn't. Did I push you off the ledge at all? Did I have to push you? No. Yeah, no. But I had to good. stop and rest. Yeah, but so what? Yeah, I mean, I, I had to stop and rest. I've seen lots of people up there who have to stop and rest. Yeah, and get catch. We went on one hike one time. How far was that one hike with the Tillamook? Angie, we did that with Angie. Yeah. And we, Cape Lookout. How? But how? Six and the beach, miles? Oregon. What was uh, it? I don't remember, but it was a very nice, very nice hike. And you were you were down there. I mean, it was only when we came 
back up that I felt like I had to get behind you and yeah, I remember that. push you up the hill a little bit. But overall, you were doing great. So my mom would walk her dogs everywhere. And I get nervous about you walking. Like, she doesn't just walk. She, like, power walks and over roots and, like, climbing over things. And I get, and by herself. So I get worried. They I don't fall do that as much. I don't anymore. do that so much anymore. Uh -uh. Okay. Yeah, that I don't do so but much walking, anymore. But walking on your hill, right, is steep. Yeah. And I get a little worried. So I like the idea of you cycling, but I also like the idea of you being outside. And um, my dogs, of course, and everybody else have helped me a lot to get into a good walking routine. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a lot, just needing to get out and walk them, and getting them out, help me get out and get um, into that routine. But it's certainly when it's, weather's not conducive to getting out and walking around like that, or the hill is muddy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do try to be careful not put myself in a situation where I'm going to have to worry about slipping. I don't want that to happen either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just, um, I then I use my Lexi too. <laughs> so getting people to do these with me is not easy. Um, sometimes I've had some customers do it, which is awesome. You know who, now after Steve sees this, I'm going to be like, my mom did this with me, so Steve's going to have to do this. Oh, yeah, I would be. I would love to see that. <laughs> Jack did one with me. I asked my mom if she ever watches any of these things, and what did you say? No. <laughs> catches me by surprise, <laughs> so, I don't know, but, uh, this is a great thing to do, you, my mom doesn't watch very much TV, um, you know, maybe we can get dad doing this too, they're both really active, and, um, you know, but taking this when it's raining, and I want this, you know, this is what we're trying to get people to do, so that we do less sitting, Right, and getting to the cycling and getting body moving and lotion on our joints. And I always say on these little things that motion's lotion for the joint, right? Like, how do you feel right now? Oh, I like that. I like that mo um, motion is because I like my lotion. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, that makes me think of um, the doctor I've worked for for almost 20 years is always very emphatic uh, about getting the exercise in, mm -hmm. the movement, mm -hmm. and uh, socialization. So being social with people and getting your exercise in. Um, uh, it's a good stress reducer, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, good, but it, it, it helps with stress. And um, cognitively, it helps cognitively, and it's just really important. So I am glad that I have something that I can do in the house too uh, when I can't get out. Yeah. So speaking of social, and you know that's an interesting. So what I want to do? Are you comfortable? Do you want to? Um, is that more comfortable? Yeah, that that extra little swing forward. So one thing that we do tell people is if your couch is a little deeper, taking some pillows and putting it behind you. Does that help? Yes, it makes a difference. Yes, it you know it's, these are pretty deep chairs, and so taking a pillow and putting it behind you, even two, you know, behind and for your lower back and for support is really good. You're in a recumbent position right now. Like if I took you and I sat you next to one of those giant machines, you would be even, like this axle would be even with that axle. Have you ever been on one of those before? Mm -hmm. Like, do you, like I mean, we never had like a gym membership or anything like that. Or when we did, we never used it. Not really. Yeah. yeah. Would you, do you like the gym? Would you want to go to a gym? Um, I could go um, to my local um, Y, yeah. YMCA and get, uh, yeah. Would you go See, to your discount for your, thing? for your, for social, would you like to go to like a gym to be social or? Or do you just like hang out with my mom's like now this social butterfly? She moved to Squim and she has like a group of friends and she's like, 
I went to the movies. She's seen. What is the movie you just saw? A Star is Born. A Star is Born. She's asking me about it. And like, normally my mom would always wait for it to come out on Redbox. Well, oh, it's right. It's not on Redbox yet. Never. So. Yeah. Yeah. Just the ladies. It was a ladies little night thing to go to. Yeah. Night out thing to go so to. you're getting your socialization. Yes. Plenty of socialization with your friends. So speaking of socialization, I mean, like, if we can get these in nursing homes where people can go cycle together outside, right, and get people, like, to do this in a group atmosphere would be a lot of fun. Oh, definitely. Like, even doing these things is way more fun doing it, like, with you and somebody else than doing it by myself. Yes. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right? Like, look, we can sit here and do this together and, and uh, And we could not chat my friends together. No, no. <laughs> I, I would never be able to keep up with you, especially if you went uphill. Well, when, did we, when, when did we try that? We actually tried that. Where is that? When you guys lived in Camas, where we rode a bike? We put you on a bike. I remember putting you on a bike. My um, brothers. Yeah. I'm my brother. Yeah. Speaking of, so my co Mike, who created these, is my mom's brother, my, my uncle. And so there's lots of intelligence in the the family on the rector side. <laughs> so that's why she's going to sit here and do this with me. Yeah. <laughs> and cycle. All right. well, well, it's well, nice to be able to do it with you, huh? I know. Um, it's nice to do it with you, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, well, okay, so cycling. That's, that's pretty much, I mean, this position is really straightforward. It's um, opening it up. You can change the pin position and we can put it higher. You want to try it? Let's try it. Okay. Let's see, watch it. Either, yeah, we can try. Watch. Because I'm kind of short. <laughs> so I'm going to just put you up. It'll be interesting to see what you think here. I want you to try this. Family. Okay. So you might not even notice a difference because I only moved it up one hole. Do you notice a difference? I think a little bit. And do you, which one do you like better? I think this one. Yeah. Actually, yeah. That's the first. So that's putting the pin in the first hole. She's still in a recumbent position. Now my mom doesn't have any back issues. Knock on wood. Right. So yeah. sometimes when you have a back issue, raising it up actually might feel like it puts more pressure on your back. But now let's try one more hole. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm short. So. So um, you won't have. The black one, which is a great device. Do you what do you do you notice a difference at all? Now now watch your minute. This one you'll definitely notice you're higher. Oh yeah. Now what do you think of that? It's probably they're both it, it, I think they both feel pretty good. Which one feels good? Because what we want you to do is to play. Okay, we really like we use this word play. We have it on our coaching application. I want you to play. When we think of exercises, play is way more fun. I think and I'll probably like the one that was down a little bit. But it is good to, like you said, to. Well, and you're using different We're all different heights. Yeah. And Try that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's okay. okay. Yeah. So that's the first hole. Her preference is the first hole. I personally like it flat all the way down. Now, I remember when I, we, we did this one. And uh, my mom saw me standing on it and wanted to stand on it, and I said no. Which was wise. Yes. <laughs> so today she came home and she would just had a doctor's appointment, and the doctor is teaching her how to do some balance exercises, and she's trying to walk in a straight line like a drunk person, you know, like a drunk person's test. And my mom is not allowed to stand on XC ever. Yeah, it would probably not be a wise thing for me to do. No. Yeah, because she would fail a drunk test. If we did that walk. So you like it that way? Yes. I thought I was getting a little better at the walk. Well, you did good. <laughs> right? You did good. All right. Well, there you go. Thanks for doing this. So oh, that's sure. your basic I'm position. We're day, this is day 25. We have, we're we're going to, I missed one day because I had to drive down to, um, I had to drive down to the Portland area and I, I missed one of the days. But we're doing this. For, um, during the month of October, we've been talking about breast cancer awareness. When was the last time you had a mammogram? Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm going to keep right on top of that. Okay. And self-examination? Yep. Yep. Um, 
See, I could talk to my mom about boobs today. Um, <laughs> you gotta talk about them. <laughs> all right, all right, but have a good weekend. It's day 25 today, we'll do day 26. She's still here, and I have her do this again tomorrow because. I want to try the um, arm one too. To have you ever sat on the ground and tried it? Yeah. I think I you have. want to try it out? Here, come sit down. Do you need a cushion to sit on them? Oh, I lost all that you know. Here, sit over here. Okay. Because this is really good for arm strength. Okay. Now, because I didn't need you to now, remind so me of Now, not everybody can get on the floor like that, just so you know. You're doing good, Mom. Oh, great. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> so, this one, I'm going to do sit on your sitting bones, like not right, basically, but right. Not align it there. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. So, take your hands. Oh, that's right. Side I see that's why I need the reminders. Now, I'm going to get you something to put under your knees. Hold on. Well, yes, we can yeah. take this. Because, yeah, yeah, I can that see. will be, you might even want one more. Yeah, I think so. Now, this is going to be interesting for you because if you get too high, go ahead and put them flat. Yeah. You don't want to hit your knees. Yeah, yeah. So see if you can get them down a little bit. Yeah. Then again, we've got me just being shorter. Yeah, see, I like this too. Look my mom, man. Good job. <laughs> Too. This is why I want to stay active. So I will say, my parents, my mom, my dad retired. My mom is still working just until next year, yeah. April. Yeah. And then she turns 70 in July, and you're done, right? Yes. Okay. So, but since my dad has retired, both of my parents have lost a lot of weight. My dad, in particular, how much weight has dad lost? Probably about. 35 to 40 pounds. Dang. Like my dad, like they both, both of you guys have actually lost weight. You look great and you guys feel healthy. And uh, with my dad having a history of heart disease, has had two heart attacks, you know, that's a really significant thing for him to have lost that weight. And obviously he doesn't smoke, you guys don't drink. You guys take good care of yourself. You know, how does that feel? We, we, we are trying. <laughs> You do a good job. Yeah. Um, I would prefer a little less sausage from bacon for dad. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but I'd like um, to be able to get out from behind the desk of all years and that years. That helps. So, helped yeah. immensely. My dad worked in a call center for a long time and um, sat at a desk and just that sitting, sitting disease. We all know sitting is the new smoking. Huge thing that literally after he retired, yeah. the weight, and he work, he works around the yard a lot, so he lost a lot of weight, but it's a big, 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 big deal. So I'm really proud of both of you guys. Oh, thank you. And mm -hmm. you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Good job, Mom. Keep going. Yeah. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. Thank you. You're yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye. Say bye. Say bye to my mom. My mom's the bomb.